sun rises over the city of Melbourne, a city full of opportunity. Melbourne has a population of 5.2 million. On an average day, over 800,000 people use the city. The population consists of several groups of people from all ages and from many different cultures. By day and often night, the streets of the CBD are filled with the entertainment from street performers and musicians. One such person is Dan. Dan is a busker who plays guitar in the CBD of Melbourne. And today, he is going to share his story. Hey, I'm Dan. Uh... Welcome to my lovely abode. Yeah, we're here to talk about my uh, music and upcoming album and my uh, busking adventures on the streets of Melbourne. And uh, we're starting with what first got me into playing guitar and my interest in music in general. That would have to be when my mum took me to see Bruce Springsteen when I was about 13. It would have been about 1984, the Born in the USA tour. The next day I asked my mum if I could take up guitar and uh, I got a cheap Strat copy, was my first guitar. Ended up playing in lots of sort of heavy rock bands and punk bands in the early 90s. And then Jeff Lang came to town and that sort of turned my guitar playing world upside down. I'd never seen anything like it. Lots of open tunings, lots of slow guitar. That really piqued my interest in acoustic guitar and finger style playing. And eventually I bought one of these. These are originally Hawaiian design, they have hollow neck all the way through, hollow body. Uh, the strings set up really high for slide guitar. You know, you've got this massive nut on the end and a big raised bridge. Yeah, you can only use them for slide. It's the Weizenborn style, named after the guy that patented the idea. I think it was a Californian with a German name or something. Yeah, but they're otherwise known as a Hawaiian lap steel guitar. Got these special little capos that work for these guitars. This is, I use these for Dobros as well because they've got the similar high action setup where that sort of clamps around the strings like that. It goes under and over and you slide it up. I've got these little bits of gaffer tape to sort of just negate any gap left between the fretboard and the little bit of rubber on that. So uh, that just clamps down over the strings. So I've got this solo album in the works. The plan is to get about eight songs, but I want to try and keep it under about 40 minutes because eventually I wouldn't mind doing a vinyl release. So I've gone pretty mellow for this first album. But there's not going to be any extra instrumentation, just guitar and vocals. No overdubs, I won't be adding any lead or anything like that. I'm just going to keep it all original. Uh, yeah, so if I head into the city, have a look this afternoon, there's always somewhere, I'll get somewhere. I was busking one day and a tram went past and the tram driver got off the tram, came over and gave me five bucks and said, I see you all the time, mate, here you go. I thought I'd give you that. <laughs> Sometimes people might hurl some abuse, you know, they'll drive past, get a real job or whatever, you know, and your job as a busker is to not take any of that on board because all it's gonna do is affect your confidence and confidence is the most important thing with busking. Drugged up on this cold winter's day, Dan sets out for a day of busking in the city.
Discouraged by too many people, Dan packs up his gear. He is on the hunt yet again for another location. We've just been out doing a bit of busking on the streets of Melbourne, spent a bit of time walking around trying to get a couple of spots and um, seemed to be quite a few beggars about today and yeah, a lot of the good spots were sort of being used. Did a ride in Flinders Lane and then we had a crack in Swanson Street which wasn't so good. I find that uh, Swanson Street tends to be a bit noisy for my style of music. Playing gigs, playing venues, I've done a lot of that over the years. Yes, I am an action adventure man. Yes, I am an action adventure man. Get my action adventure whenever I can. Yeah, we're in here at um, SAE Studios in South Melbourne. I've been just doing a bit of recording. Um, we've got the lovely Epi the engineer in there behind the glass. Um, working on this solo album. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Done a few albums, in, or two albums in bands I've been in previously and, and an EP, but uh, this is the first solo project. Um, got a heap of material so it was hard to choose well how to go about the first uh, album but um i've been playing this this is called weisenborn style guitar for the last few years so i just thought i might as well kind of just make a good an album where i'm pretty much just using this it's going to be uh just guitar and vocals and and the album's going to be fairly mellow um kind of think of it as the album my mother always wanted me to record and uh, that's about a wrap. <laughs> 